Hi there, this is Chuck with MTG The Journey, and welcome to today's deck tech. We're going through our uh, Orzhov Slow Death, uh, basically the third trial run of this. So, <clears throat> we've made a few changes here. Um, we're going to main board the Sin Collectors now, as, I mean, they're they're pretty much relevant no matter what. They, they hit for, against aggro, they're going to take away burn, they're going to... I mean, they let me see their hand, which is never a bad thing. Um, and against the control, you really want to first game because it's going to make a huge difference in controls, huge in my meta. Um, we went ahead and left the two whip of Erebos just because the lifelink is really relevant. I uh, went ahead with uh, Soldier of the Pantheon in the one drop slot. I haven't been the biggest fan of this, but I don't know. It seems like it might it might pay off. Protection from multicolored might be in the really big. I went ahead with one gray merchant right now just because it seems like it seems like it might might pay off. So we'll see how that runs. Not a whole lot of devotion to go with it except for the you know, the underworld connections and the desecration demons, but we'll see. It might end up it might end up playing out really well. Um see the we've added Devour Flesh, Orzob Charms to our lineup for more removal first thing right off the bat and we've gone down to two Nykthos and two Mutavolts because of the fact that we're just not seeing the land that we want as often as not which is hurting us for casting spells decided to stick with four pack rats and two obsidots for now in our sideboard we've gone with uh, adding Pithing Needle, because it shuts down other Planeswalkers or the annoying Elixir of Immortality control decks, the uh, Esper style, just nastiness. Um, kept the two Blood Barons. I've added two Life Bane Zombies um, to bring in just in case against Mono White or Selesnia style decks or even some of the green decks that can be really relevant against for more card removal. Uh, stuck with one blind obedience that can come in uh, just for swapping out some removal for aggro decks. A couple of Farika's Cures that we can bring in instead of the Doom Blades against certain matchups that the Doom Blades aren't going to hit. Or the Orzhov Charms when they're not relevant. And we have the four Thought Seizes and two Duresses in the sideboard because, I mean, honestly, the only real time that we're going to use them and have them be extremely relevant is against some of the control decks. Other than that, I've already got Sin Collector that's going to hit any of their removal and the soldier. So, I don't know, we might end up swapping out some thought pieces back in later on, but we'll see how that pans out. And uh, Glare of Heresy, just because it hits so many of the white uh, permanents, like the detention spheres and stuff, we can bring that back in. Might end up adding more of these later on instead of, say, Farika's Cure, depending on how things work out. So we're going to run some trial tests with this and see how this pans out against everything and we'll make some adjustments from there as we move down the road. Thank you very much for joining us today and hope you enjoy our matches.